Ever since I bought my Phantom 4 Pro, I've obviously flown it a lot of times. I've, I've flown it professionally, you know, on paid jobs, and I've flown it by my, uh, for my own personal pleasure. And the other day I went down by the river here in Lisbon, and I took the drone up, and I was up there for the better part of 25 minutes shooting the uh, 25 de Abril bridge, which is the bridge here in Lisbon. And that bridge is notorious because it's very, very similar to the Golden Gate Bridge, even though it wasn't built by the same people. Um, Anyway, I didn't think too much of it. I was there, uh, I had a good time, even took my GH5 and uh, uh, took a few few shots in slow motion of the drone flying and all that. Actually, my girlfriend did that. And I didn't think too much of it. When I got back home and I was looking at the footage, I was incredibly surprised because it was, it was amazing and it was beautiful. And it was, I had no idea that I had just made those shots you know, when I got back home, and I felt so inspired that I decided to, you know, I'm just going to put, I'm going to trim this down, obviously 20, 25 to 26 minutes of footage, I'm going to trim this down, I'm going to put a mu some music over this, some bit of, a bit of score that I like from a movie I like, something, I'm just think of something and I'm going to do that, and that's what I did. And when I did that, I was, it, it was an amazing experience to just mix image with music, because that just that thing you know that element alone that process alone was how i began in this in this uh, career that i have in this path in this i don't want to say uh, yeah well i already said it career but the path that i took which is basically filmmaking i, I ended up becoming a film director but it all began with uh, mat uh, mixing and matching uh, music with images i remember very when i was very young 13 14 i was I, the minute I got back home from school, I, I had two VHSs, VHS players and a lot of tapes, obviously. So I, I, re, I, I managed to record music and put it inside. So I'd edit without music clips from films that I loved and I'd, and I'd slap um, some, you know, a bit of score that I liked. So it, it was kind of the birth of editing for me is how I kind of started learning the curve uh, of, of the editing process. And it's been more than over 20 years now and and here i am doing the exact same thing with the complete you know completely uh different point of view but feeling the exact same thrill and emotion and and realizing that damn this is what i love to do this is what makes me actually tick you know it's it's making people uh, making people feel stuff and and being in awe with the power of music over image and thinking wow this is how i began and now i want to share that with you it's just a two little two minute clip with the music uh i picked uh the opening titles from the film uh from the music from the film point break the 1991 version not the recent one the one directed by catherine bigelow and um the composer is mark isham and um and the cue i picked is the opening titles and I picked it because it really reflects what I felt when I first saw the footage. Majestic. You know, it's... I was in awe. And I hope you feel that when you see the footage. So, here it is. Two minutes of your time. And I hope you enjoyed it.
have to admit that I'm guilty of watching that, you know, over and over, kind of putting it, that on repeat because, damn childhood, you know, it's been it's been 20 plus years since I started doing those old edits, and this is like reliving that all over again because everything is just so complex now. Everything is just budgets and crew and scripts, and it, we re revise the script and you know direct the actors, and you know this is just and and this little clip that doesn't mean anything doesn't have any narrative it was just it felt i felt so free you know doing this you know free of all that stuff that i just said about you know the you know the, the process of filmmaking which is the professional filmmaking which is a pain in the ass and yeah i just want to share that i wanted to share that with you and i wanted to make this video to share that clip and uh, and hopefully you enjoyed it as much as i did uh watching it and making it and uh, also, this is a disclaimer, I will leave links for all the gear that I'm using on, the, on this video and obviously the Phantom 4 Pro if you guys are interested in purchasing any of it. If you do use my links, you'll be supporting my channel and it won't cost you anything uh, more because of it. It's your, you know, I'm, I, I think you're probably familiar with how the affiliate system works, but uh, anyway, you won't pay extra and it helps me and helps the channel. So uh, if you do plan on purchasing a, a Phantom 4 Pro or any of the gear that I'm using on this, on this setup here, uh, I thank you. And with that, I bid you farewell and, and I'll see you very soon because I have a lot of videos planned for next week and for the following weeks as well. So uh, uh, thank you and thank you also for, um, for coming, uh, for joining me on this ride if you've made it this far and if you watch the entire clip. I hope you feel what I felt and I still feel and I hope you, uh, if you're not, you'll fall in love with this medium, with this thing that is film and music and art. <laughs> And with that, I say farewell, and I'll see you next time. Bye.